Hello. In this video I will explain that the concept of infinity of a single universe, infinity of a multiverse and potential infinity of a single human thought all have the exact same mathematical fractal pattern based on Fibonacci. Meaning through geometry I will prove that those three concepts are one and the same thing. So let's start by explaining the concept of infinity of a single universe which can be represented symbolically as a circle which does not have a definitive beginning or an ending. Yet mathematically looking a circle is an infinite number of straight lines connected end of one to the beginning of the next one like so. Junction point, junction point, junction point all connected while straight lines thus essentially making this a polygon of sorts like a hexagon or an octagon. If a circle has an infinite number of these straight lines then the circle is actually an infinite polygon with an expandable radius, but I will get to that later. Where the actual infinity comes into play is when we consider that the universe, or in this case a circle, must have a beginning or a center. That beginning and the center is in zero, because from that zero we have a Fibonacci spiral rotating clockwise and stretching out into positive infinity. I say positive because from that zero then there must be a negative Fibonacci spiral rotating counterclockwise into negative infinity as well and thus intersecting with one another. Where those spirals intersect with one another is the exact same spot where those infinite number of straight lines connect to one another. So all of that happens at the surface of this circle. If there is an infinite number of these straight lines on the surface of the circle then from the center of it there must be an infinite number of Fibonacci spirals rotating in both directions, clockwise and counterclockwise. So if this symbolically represents an infinity of a universe, every single circle on the pattern is a symbolical representation of this infinity here because if it's a circle it's comprised out of infinite number of straight lines and infinite number of Fibonacci spirals rotating in both direction, directions thus intersecting with the straight lines. If this can be portrayed in two dimensions it can also be portrayed in three. So this circle becomes a sphere and let's say this square becomes an octahedron meaning a double pyramid. A philosophical sort of a fun fact is that uh, every uh, spiral is actually neutral as such, meaning it's not positive or negative, but because it projects the triplistic nature of an atom when it comes to physical reality, each spiral is actually positive, negative and neutral as such. Thus when they intersect they cancel each other out and create another zero from which the Fibonacci spirals rotate into infinite directions. So that would conclude the explanation of a basic principle of infinity of a universe. Let's explain the multiverse next. To, to do that I must explain the fifth and fourth dimensions accordingly because a three dimensional cube is made out of second dimensional surfaces with an added dimension of depth. Following the same reasoning, I think the fifth dimension is comprised out of fourth dimensional particles. So the fourth dimension in fourth dimension a particle can exist at two places at the same time while in multiverse or rather the fifth dimension where the multiverse, multiverse resides in fifth dimension a particle can exist at all places at the same time. So this basically becomes a map of not only the expansion of the universe but also multiverse itself. And each circle represents a parallel universe to this one. So how do those parallel universes communicate with one another? Well through tangents basically because if a circle can be divided into straight lines then the Fibonacci spiral, which is rounded, can also be divided into infinite number of straight lines. So, if we have an information from a parallel universe, which spirals towards the edge of that universe and comes into contact with our edge of the universe, 
which is imaginary by the way it, that continuation of a spiral becomes a tangent touching the surface of the circle interacting with one of those or two junction points thus becoming one of those infinite number of straight lines meaning the edge of the universe is defined by the particles from the fourth dimension this is basically the same principle as to how people communicate with one another I have an information with, in my brain which spirals towards another person it gets filtered through my scope of perception comes down to the next person they filter it through their own perception and thus come up with an answer accordingly so let's dive deeper into pattern of human psychology which this basically is we are made out of atoms which have neutral negative and positive particles which is why we seemingly always have two choices left and right right or wrong to be or not to be at the moment of choosing we are basically neutral meaning we are zero until we make a choice of a certain trajectory of action or words for that matter so that would imply that our very thoughts and feelings are derived from subatomic particles from which we are made of if we are representatives of such a triplistic atomic nature the other implication would be that those subatomic particles must feel how to interact with other subatomic particles although feelings and thoughts are different things from emotions emotions are cognitive feelings are derivative from our atomic makeup so let's take lightning for instance I think that of course it does not have an emotion or cognitivity but it does feel how to move through subatomic particles towards the ground through the air so basically that would be ge geometry of human psychology, geometry of a multiverse and infinity of a single universe this is also how the divine matrix actually looks like it's based on Fibonacci as well because our entire reality is based on such a fractal pattern but uh, to reduce the divine matrix into its most simple form uh, which is this a triangle encapsulated by a circle containing at least six Fibonacci spirals rotating clockwise and counterclockwise basically creating a ancient symbol called a triketra so these curvatures symbolize the dualistic nature of Fibonacci spiral one rotating clockwise the other counterclockwise the triangle is here to symbolize the trinity of an atom and the circle is here to symbolize the infinite number of these Fibonacci spirals rotating in both directions also you will notice that the center of it is actually a triangle as well meaning this is a basic principle or a basic form of a fractal so that would basically conclude my video or, or rather I would like to just say one more thing the next evolutionary step of humanity will probably be in a spiritual or emotional level because if we through the scope of our consciousness can choose what we do in this life we can also choose what we say in this life but the next evolutionary step through it we will probably figure out that we can choose to feel however we want to feel so I would like to thank you for watching and if you liked it please share it